What the hell did they use to cut the stunning Kailasa temple out of the bedrock with? The enormous complex carved into the side of a mountain with such intricate detail that simply blows the mind. How did the ancient people create this wonder? And what did they do with all of the excavated rock? Nobody knows, but the answer must lie in the loss of a technological understanding that has since been lost. Wait till you hear this. Depicted for the Lord Shiva, the manifestation of the god in the sky going through some very discreet phases. And could this place be a shelter for the people during the cataclysmic occurrences? Does the depictions of Shiva show the Squatterman event in every phase? And if so, are these explanations of what each phase meant to the people who created it? The Kailasa Temple is the 16th cave and is one of 32 cave temples and monasteries forming the wondrous Elora Caves. Nowhere does it say when it was built, but it has been assumed by historians to have been commissioned by Rastrakuta King Krishna the first. But that is based on two epigraphs that link the temple to Krishna Raja. The name Krishna Raja is one of the ancient Indian names and is derived from the Sanskrit roots Krishna and Raja. Krishna means lead and Raja means king. Together, they indicate king. Master craftsmen carved the gigantic structure from a single piece of solid rock thought to have been a cave on the mountainside. And this painstaking process removed more than a shocking 200,000 tons of volcanic rock, of which has never been traced in this region, leading to a widespread speculation on what tools were actually used when carving out this amount of rock, with some suggesting that this was carved from the top to the bottom by an advanced piece of equipment. Hindus created the temple to honour Lord Shiva and they intended to mimic his home on Mount Kailash in the Himalayan mountains. And in this sense, they tried to create the cosmic mountain, or perhaps they tried to cast a spell to re-establish the break between the heaven and the earth after the cataclysmic occurrence. Some of these elaborate carvings show Shiva going through the phases, while other carvings show a great assembly of gods, with Shiva harmoniously flanked by two elephants, while his bottom half is obscured by the cosmic mountains. The temple is created as a U-shape and is about 150 feet deep. Kailasa Temple is three stories tall. Large stone carvings along the outer walls depict various Hindu deities, while two internal flagstaff pillars show stories from Lord Shiva's saga. And there are also enormous carvings honouring Lord Vishnu, possibly the main deity in the Squatterman event to the Hindus and almost every inch of this interior structure contains an intricate carving. Towards the top, you see carvings of elephants that point your way down. On the bottom of the main building, it appears as if an army of huge stone elephants are holding up the entire temple. And the elephants surround a 100 foot tall pillar that appears to serve as the main edifice in the temple complex. The Kailasa Temple covers more square footage than the Parthenon in Athens. Somehow, quite mysteriously even, civilizations in India came and went without even noticing this magnificent art until 1682 when it was discovered by the Muslims, who then spent three years trying to destroy it. Yes, with 1,000 men over three years chipping away at it with hammer and chisel, but the rock was simply too dense for their efforts. So the question then becomes, how did they create it if they couldn't even destroy it? That is a question for the ages, but the Kailasa Temple must be older than 1300 years old. It must date to a time separate from our wave of existence, before the knowledge to achieve such an achievement would hang in the memory for so long that the people who created it were no longer around. Their ancestral lineage forgotten, and remember, we didn't even know about this until 1682. These amazing works of art hide some secrets more than most will ever know, and archaeologists estimate that there are more than an eye-watering 30 million Sanskrit carvings that have yet to be translated. If experts can ever find a way to unlock the hidden meaning of this language, 
it would make Kailasa Temple one of the most valuable, important historical artefacts on the earth. And perhaps with the Squatterman understanding, can these discreet carvings be understood? But what do you guys think about this anyway? Comments below. And as always, thank you for watching. Slowly, the life has been squeezed out of the Lost History Channel. But we are fighting back, and fighting back hard every day. This is the channel that refuses to go away. But things are tough, and we do need your support. Please take a moment and check out the links provided. Please thumbs up this video if you have appreciated it, and please comment below. Audience engagement is vital for this channel, so please engage with this channel as much as possible. Let them be seen for the destruction they are causing us. Thank you.